Hello, when we tune pianos, we normally tune to equal temperament, but there are alternatives, and historically there have been several possible temperaments. So this piano is tuned to equal temperament. So as we start off with this third here, this is approximately 6.9 beats per second. I'll just play it slowly so you can... I don't know if you'll be able to hear on the video, but... Here goes la 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 la. And as you go up, it, the beating increases. Now we've got A to A3 to C4, which is 8.7 approximately. And as we go up, the beating increases. So if we get C to C4 to E4 is 10.4. And finally 11 on C sharp 4 to F4. Now the reason I'm making this video is because a piano tuner came in recently, very enthusiastic to show us Kellner temperament, or I think fifth comma, I think he called it. Um, it's opened up a new area for me, so I'd love, I'm doing this mainly to learn, so um, if you can help, then please do make, make comments. But here goes. Now the tuner's tuned this piano to the Kellner temperament, or as he prefers to call it, a slightly different temperament, fifth comma equal temperament. So we'll have a listen to this, and I've written down the values for Kellner, which will be similar to what we hear here now. So that's 3.8 approximately. That's approximately 11. 3.8 again. 11 again, that sounds a bit faster than 11 to me. 6.2. 6.2, 8.6, 1.4, and 11, just as it was on the equal temperament, that interval. Now, the idea here is to try and make the home keys, as we, as we call them, uh, that is the keys like C, F, and G, beating less. So that third there, for instance, 1.4 beats, that's the lowest of the lot. So if you play a triad, you don't hear much beating. Just like a string orchestra playing, you won't hear any beating. If Well, you hear a little beating perhaps, but it's uh, they don't have to make an equal temperament. They can, so you get a nice pure sound. Uh, on the piano, you don't get that unless you tune that interval pure. So let's hear, for instance, this is F. So that's 3.8. And G... 3.8 again so that's 3.8 that's 3.8 so if we put the, th the fifth on top we get a much purer sound and the C being the most pure now if we contrast that with the C sharp it sounds very impure because that beating is very impure so if we contrast G for instance to A flat or G sharp the beating there is much faster so the sound is very impure but that's beating is 11 same as that is but that you're used to hearing strong beating on and that you're not so it's quite a difference now if you are familiar with this whole subject i'd love to learn that's why i'm putting this video out really as i say i would like to learn um it's not something that uh, occasionally i've preferred hearing slight slightly purer on the home keys and slightly less pure on the distant keys as we call them but generally speaking as we're teaching piano tuning as well trying to then we're going to teach equal temperament so let's have a quick listen again so that would be 3.8 followed by 11 3.8 followed by 11 so there's quite a difference between the distance keys and the home keys. I hope that's been useful. Uh, well, mainly, uh, mainly because I'd like to learn. So please do make comments uh, if you like the idea of this kind of temperament. And certainly it does sound very pretty if you listen to the chord of C played throughout the whole piano. It's a purer sound. If we compare that with a C sharp, most noticeable when you just play the triad so thank you very much for listening i hope that's been interesting for you and it's certainly be very interesting for me to hear your comments